Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the very nice piano part from Seven Years by Lucas Graham. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's give you a quick preview uh, so you know what to learn in today's lesson. This is what you're going to learn. Check it out. It goes like this. Yeah, etc. Keep repeating that. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn it, okay? So, okay. So, what happens? The right hand. Uh, it's actually not that hard to actually learn this uh, repeating piano motive. The right hand is really repetitive uh, in the motive. Just the left hand, the chords are changing around. That's the main thing that you need to get. Okay, so the right hand has this repeating motive. It has, uh, okay, starting on the B flat up here. So middle C, C, I will go up an octave to this C. Go up to the B flat here. So it goes B flat, A, G, F, D, F, D, F, D, F. Okay, so... Let's break it up to parts. This is the first part, okay? So one more time for this first part. So this motive is very important in this first part because the right hand motive uh, of this first part is pretty much repeated throughout the whole of this lesson, okay? So yeah, one more time, it goes like this. It goes B flat, A, G, F, D, F, D, F, D, F, like that. And that is the right hand for this first part and also very important to remember this right hand as I said. It's the same motive pretty much for all the parts. Okay, so that's that for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords for this first part. The two chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Second chord is second inversion of B flat major, which consists of F, B flat, D. So, with these two chords in mind, so G minor, followed by second inversion of B flat major. The two hands together goes like this for this first part, okay? Right hand starts first, it goes, D and G minor together. And then the, uh, pretty much the last D and the chord together. Like that. And that's that. One more time, so it goes like this. It goes together. Together. Like that. All right, and that is the first part. After you've got the first part, the second part is extremely easy because the right hand is exactly the same as the first part. So you know that motive already it goes B flat A G F D F D F D F once again like that. Okay, so you know that very well. So that's the right hand for the second part. Okay, same right hand as the first part. Remember that left hand, however, is different chord. There's only one chord here for the second part. The one chord is E flat major, which is E flat G B flat. Okay, so. With that E flat major chord in mind, two hands together goes like this. Okay, what happens here? Right hand starts first, first D and E flat major together. And you hold that. And that's it. That is the second part. Okay, one more time for the second part. So it's really simple. Just goes together. Like that. And that is the second part. So, so far, the two parts we've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Okay, moving on, the third part goes like this, okay, right hand is exactly the same as the motive in the first and the second part, so you know that already, B flat, A, G, F, D, F, D, F, D, F, like that, okay, so that's the third part for the right hand, same motive as the first and second part, you know that, however, the left hand for this third part, we have three chords here, so more chords than anything else, so the three chords here, they are, okay, F major, which is F, A, C, Second chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Third chord here is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. So, with these three chords in mind, so F major, G minor, and B flat major. The two hands together for this third part goes like this. Goes B flat and F major together, so it's together. D and G minor together. D and B flat major together. Like that, and that's the third part. One more time for this third part, so it goes like this. Goes together, together together and that's it okay so so far the three parts that we've learned so far will be played back to back like this check it out
Okay, now, moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, right hand, okay, it's nearly exactly the same. The only difference is that uh, we take away the last note on the right hand, so we don't, uh, we don't play the last F, okay? It's the same motive, but just doesn't have the last F, so one less note, okay? So it just goes B flat, A, G, F, D, F, D, F, D. So we finish on the D instead of F this time. So yeah, just take away that last F and that's pretty much it, okay? So that's the pattern, remember that for the fourth part. It's the same thing, but just take away the last F note, okay? So yeah, one more time. So right hand for this fourth part, B flat, A, G, F, D, F, D, F, D, and hold that D, okay? So that's the right hand there. Left hand, three chords here, but the three chords are pretty easy because all three chords are E flat major chords, which is E flat, G, B flat, so three of them. So two, three. Okay, so all those three E flat major chords in mind, the two hands together for this fourth part goes like this. Right hand starts first, goes D and B, E flat major together, D and chord together, together. Yeah, so pretty much the E flat majors, you can remember for the fourth part, is only played with the D notes on the right hand. Okay, so that's the easy way to remember. It just goes like this, together, 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 and hold, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it for the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts will be played like this. Check it out. And just repeat it. sing through it if you're a singer and yeah want to sing with the song okay but anyway that's pretty much it not that hard uh, after all after we break up all the parts into like these smaller patterns and everything that's how we learn stuff quickly learn stuff with patterns but anyway if you like this teaching method go ahead uh, check out all my other piano tutorials on this channel I have over 2600 of them for you to enjoy and learn from so a lot of stuff for you to learn but anyway as now also check out my website as well bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my piano teaching methods it's probably linked in the description below so check that out as well and yeah as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time <laughs> i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.